Question 16 is all about symmetry. It says Amy has some circular tiles and some rectangular tiles. She makes these patterns with them. So these are the patterns she is making. For each pattern, put a tick if it has got a line of symmetry, put a cross if it does not. So we're checking for symmetry. Easiest thing to do here is to put your hand up and ask your teacher for a mirror if you haven't got one. And the idea is that you'll experiment by placing your mirror on the shape to check for a line of symmetry. So for example, if I placed my mirror here, you're going to check that both sides match. If I folded this side over, would it fit exactly over this side? And the answer, obviously, there is no. How can two circles fit exactly over a rectangle? It's not going to work. So that can't be a line of symmetry. But on this first shape, if you go across like that, then this circle would fit over this circle, and this half of the rectangle would fit exactly over this half. So that must be a line of symmetry. On this second shape, okay, if you go down the middle and put your mirror there, if you look in through this side of the mirror, you won't see what's on the other side because this circle for that to be reflected would have to be down at the bottom here and it's not on one side of the mirror the circles at the bottom on the other side it's at the top so that cannot be a line of symmetry some people sometimes think about diagonal lines on this one and again that if you actually check your mirror using your mirror you will see that what you see on one side isn't exactly what you see on the other. If you folded the shape through that line, the two sides would not exactly fit over each other. There would be some overlap. It's for the same reason that in a rectangle, you cannot have a diagonal line of symmetry. It does not work. The triangle ends up overlapping the other triangle. So, you've got to be very, very careful when it comes to questions like this. Check with your mirror. What about the third one? Well, the third one, again, we've got to appreciate that sometimes we can have diagonal lines of symmetry. And the only line of symmetry on the third one is diagonally through the middle there. If you check that with your mirror, and you folded it over, the rectangle would fold over for exactly on the other rectangle and the circles would fit too. Sometimes it's easy with these to actually tilt your exam paper or tilt your head so that you can see the line as being vertical rather than diagonal. So try tilting your head now and see if you can make that look easy for yourself. The last shape is pretty much the same as this one in terms of you can't do a vertical line of symmetry because that rectangle doesn't fold over and fit over the circle and same with this rectangle doesn't fit over that circle and also you can't do a slanted line of symmetry because it would not fit exactly over when it is folded so check inside your mirror ask your teacher for a bit more help on this one if you need it but they are the two answers. So we need to tick this shape. We need to tick this shape. We need to tick this shape. And we need to cross these two. And that's it.